Should I oil when I have dandruff or I shouldn't? This is a dilemma I've often seen my clients debate about. I have so many different advices from so many influencers. I am confused. I can understand. If you choose to oil and if you go the DIY route, you are bombarded with various concoctions and formulations that seem laborious and require too many ingredients and hours of hard work. On the other hand, you will have various brands selling magical potions that promise an overnight wonder of clean scalp and thick hair instantaneously. So where does that leave the average man who's trying to find some relief while not emptying his pocket or spend hours behind a remedy that may or may not work? Exactly! Hello and hi once again. I'm Dr. Sanoba, Dr. Fonley, known as Mrs. Dr. Doctor. I'm a board certified dermatologist and the host of this channel Healthy Aging with Dr. Doctor. We discuss skin care, hair care, healthy aging and everything needed to lead a healthy and happy life. Make sure you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new video that gets uploaded. And don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below so that I can help you to the best of my ability. In today's video, I'm going to answer whether oiling your hair with dandruff is a good idea. And then I'll share my simple recipe that actually works and takes only a few minutes to prepare. So without any further ado, let's begin. Is oiling the scalp bad for dandruff? The actual answer to this is not a simple yes or no. It actually depends more on the type of oiling practice rather than the oil itself. If you oil your hair and move around through Throughout the day with oil in your head, you will attract all the pollution and more dirt and this will get mixed with the existing dandruff and increase the itchiness. But on the other hand, if you do not oil your hair and if your environment is already very dry like during the winters, then not oiling your hair can leave your scalp dry which in turn can increase the flakiness and itching. So what should I do? The best is to find a middle ground. I personally feel it is best to oil your hair for 1-2 to two hours and then make sure to wash it off with a gentle shampoo. But I like how soft my hair feels after I oil it. What if I want to keep it a little longer? If you really want to leave the oil in your head for a longer time, then leave it overnight. But make sure you wash it off before you step outside the house. For those who have dandruff, I still recommend oiling for a short time only. You don't only want that greasy look, but you also want to make sure that you don't end up attracting all the city's pollution and dust. Got it. So will oiling my scalp get rid of the dandruff? Not really. Oils alone cannot do much to get rid of the dandruff. Some oils inherently contain ingredients that are antifungal, which can help to some extent. But no oil can get rid of it completely unless you address the root cause. What oils essentially do is improve the circulation and moisturize the scalp. This gives some relief from the extreme dryness and itchiness and that flakiness that was occurring in the first place. Hmm, this makes sense. So if oils don't get rid of dandruff, then why do I see so many many recipes with so many elaborate ingredients promising cure? I can't really answer this. Some of them are good and use ingredients that have antifungal properties and boost circulation. But in all honesty, instead of using ingredients that you can cook with, I would rather include them in my diet than waste them over the scalp. So, what is your magical hair oil formula? Now, my hair oil recipe is not magical, but it is straightforward and something that has worked for most of my clients. We'll have to go home to show you how to prepare it since I don't have the ingredients here in office. Let's go. So for my anti dandruff hair oil, you add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil plus 2 tablespoons of castor oil. Then you add 3 drops of either lemongrass essential oil. I prefer that. If you don't have that, add 3 drops of lemon essential oil plus 3 drops of tea tree oil. What if I don't like coconut oil? Now, you can use argan oil, sesame oil, mustard oil or any oil according to your preference and experience. I grew up seeing plain coconut oil and that is what I used initially and it works well. Plus, coconut oil is antifungal. But you do you. And what about essential oils? When you use essential oils, make sure you use highly pure essential oils and make sure that you don't ever use them directly on the scalp. I personally prefer the one from Plant Therapy. It is something that I have been using for years. This is not sponsored. It's just something that I use. I also want to mention something about castor oil. Castor oil might seem to be too thick but it isn't that bad when you combine it in equal proportions with another oil and it is actually great since it is one of the oils that has the 
ability to penetrate the most and all these together in combination work well moreover you'll get used to it in some time especially once you start seeing the results do you have any tips on how to apply it's very simple place a few drops of the oil over one area of your scalp at a time then massage the oil into your scalp with your fingertips leave it on for 2 to 3 hours or overnight and then wash it off with a mild shampoo or an anti dandruff shampoo and that's it it's really very simple remember you won't see immediate results with your dandruff that will only happen when you will combine it with other treatment options but your scalp will definitely feel much better and less itchy after the oil head wash treatment all righty i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i wanted to cover this topic because i get a lot of questions really related to it. I hope you have got some clarity now. If you want to learn more on how to get rid of dandruff completely, you'll find an entire playlist on the channel's homepage. As always, continue to glow, thrive and shine. Take care. I'll see you soon.